Welcome to episode 31 of Ask Jack D. In this episode, we take a question from Jordan DeBarno, who asks about how do we come back to heart to be an even more effective leader? Like a tidal wave hit me. Yeah. I ride the wave swiftly. I fear no man. Check my titles, mate, quickly. Came from the sky with la, the... La, 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 la. Welcome to episode 31 of Ask Jack D. Today, we are taking a question from... Jordan DeBarno, who is an absolute legend, JD Coaching AU, a scalable and sustainable member and good, great client and friend of ours here at the Entourage, who asks, hashtag Ask Jack D, hey Jack, how did you change your mindset coming from, how did you change your mindset to coming from heart instead of firing yourself up every day to succeed? Jordan, this is a really good question and I presume somewhere you've seen me speak about the fact that particularly in speaking world, I, I see a lot of speakers, and I used to do this very, very long time ago, in terms of before you get on stage, they sort of pump themselves up and try and get all fired up and all that sort of stuff. Whereas now I do the opposite. Now I will stand at the back of a room or if I'm going into an important meeting or I'm having a discussion with investors or having a, you know, a, a meeting on an international basis with a, a, a critical partner, I don't fire myself up. I actually do quite the opposite. What I do is I come back to heart. Meaning, um, I literally stand at the back of the room if I'm about to go up and talk, I'll put my hand on my heart and I'll just do my best to relax and to come back into myself and to be present for the people in the room and the room at large. And the reason I started to do this and, and do this now more than ever in my life is what I've learned is that people don't want the manufactured you. People don't want bravado. People don't want a manufactured, excited energy. The number one thing, so I've studied, you know, leadership and um, how individuals can touch the hearts and minds of other individuals. I've studied this my whole life, right, since I was about 12. And I can tell you that the number one ingredient that inspires and moves people and enables somebody to be an effective leader is authenticity. Deep, unrequited um, is unrequited a word? What's the unrequited, uh, like unbridled, complete vulnerable authenticity, being your absolute self, putting your heart and soul on the line or on the table every single day. Um, I believe what makes us different what is what makes us brilliant, right? And so many, uh, so many times I think we find ourselves trying to fit in and trying to be normal. But it's the very things that make us different. It's the very uniqueness we have about us, however vulnerable that might be, that is what people and ourselves will connect with, right? Alan Turing is a really good example of this. Alan Turing, um, you know, was around in the Second World War and he was tasked with decodifying um, Enigma, which was a Nazi code that they used to pass around um, messages from Hitler and the generals right down through to... Um, so, you know, soldiers in the army. And this code was almost impossible to crack, but through Alan's work, he was able to uh, not only crack the code, but form the foundation and the basis of many, many technological advances. He was asking himself the question, can machines think, right? And he was trying to create essentially what we would call today a computer that would enable a machine to think beyond what a human inputs to it um, in order to crack the Enigma Code, and, and, and that played a very pivotal part in winning World War II. Now, Alan was incredibly socially awkward. He was incredibly unarticulate. He was incredibly, uh, you know, uh, not charismatic. Had he have spent his life um, trying to be more charismatic and trying to be more confident and social and all of that, had he have tried to fix what made him not fit in, um, you know, computer science would be 10 years behind what it is right now because he was so brilliant at what he was brilliant at that to the neglect of everything else, he focused purely on that, played a massive part in helping the Allies win World War II and created the foundation of what went on to become Turing machines, which ultimately what went on to become computers. What makes us different makes us brilliant. People crave real. If you want to be a leader that truly moves and inspires other individuals, the number one ingredient you um, need to become really okay with and really amplify in yourself and inspire everybody else around you to do the same is authenticity. Come back to you and be you unapologetically.
tonight is on.